So today we're talking about finding the sunlight. And in winter, it can feel so hard to find it, but it's there and it will warm us sometimes. Last week we talked about, or last couple of weeks, we talked about the emerging and how that plant coming out of the ground, trying desperately to find the sunlight. And I found this footage today and thought the sunflowers were the perfect example of finding sunlight. And I'll explain more about it. But today I was on the treadmill and um, I was thinking about those sunflowers and I was thinking about the sunlight and right in the middle of my walk, um, all the inspiration all the ideas, all the colors, everything came flooding in. It was the best feeling. And so I stopped midstream and came to my studio and was so excited. There wasn't any hesitation as I came in today. There wasn't any meandering around. There wasn't any wondering of what I was going to do. I knew and it felt so good and it felt like finding the sunlight and it was perfect for today. So I'm grabbing my papers and I knew the exact ones that I wanted. I knew the colors that I was looking for. Um, I, I had everything in my head and I was, I couldn't believe how excited I felt. I started putting all of the papers down and each one had a clear meaning and um, I knew exactly what I wanted it to say and whether anybody else understood it or not I knew I knew what this moment meant for me and my inspiration and my process that I was in the sunlight that I was there that I'd been underground that I had pushed my way through the dark I had emerged and was searching desperately for the sunlight and found it and will follow it and continue to follow that inspiration as long as I can for as long as this season will allow me. And then, you know, the seasons will come and go again. So I'm putting all of my papers down with matte medium and my matte gel on my 14 by 14 canvas. And I love, love, love this piece. And you'll see that I'm kind of measuring things out now because I know exactly where that ground is going to go. And you can see how small it is in comparison to the previous pieces in this series and how the ground is getting lower and lower and it's not covering the whole page. And that the sky, when you see the sky come to life, um, just all of the colors um, that are happening within the piece Whereas the first one I did, it was pretty dark and that's how I felt. And that's, and that's a wonderful thing that we can have our art and how we create reflect our seasons. It's so good for us. I knew all of the papers that I wanted and I placed them um, with purpose and I'm doing this piece with purpose. So when it came to me on the treadmill, <clears throat> I it was like a floodgate and I could not wait to get here.
just sketching out my ground and just kind of getting a vision for where I will take the ground. I'm using my high flows and I'm basically doing so much of the same thing that I've done over the past few, uh, actually all of the series, um, same technique, same flow, um, but there's more movement, there's more color, um, same technique with the alcohol, um, and that just is the, that's a symbol throughout for this piece. I'm blending out that green. I wanted it to be bright. I wanted it to be that kind of light area in the horizon. And I wanted it to show off the flowers, the flowers that were searching for the sunlight, that had found the sunlight, I should say, and follow it across the sky like, like my video showed earlier. I'm taking my time with the sky too. You'll see that I'm doing lots of layers and um, I'm really enjoying the process because the sky now is more of the focus than the soil. The sunlight is more of the focus because that's where I am living in. That's the, the space that I'm in. Prior to that, I was in the ground. <laughs> I was underground. It felt dark and gloomy. I worked hard to have translucent layers or transparent layers on top so that the story of the papers would show and not all of them do and that's just part of the process of really bringing a piece together but i know and that's that's what what's important the texture that they create it's all so good Now I'm bringing color down into the soil. Um, lots of purples and oranges and greens. Some browns and blacks too, but not as much. Which is truly a reflection of my journey.
I want to make sure the sky is warm because that's that's kind of how I mean my winter right now where I live is not warm but that warmth of and that rush of inspiration feels so good and I want that to be reflected and how that warmth of the sun makes things grow it's why the sunflowers follow it because they face the sun so they can get the most warmth for the most growth and I hope you can see how much time I'm taking with the sky it's really important to me at this point Prior, my, my focus was on the soil. Well, hello, my loves, and happy Sunday to you. I'm so glad that you have, most of you have joined me on this journey over the last month. It's been a month of um, my journey wading through the lack of creativity and what I do to move through that, move through that kind of heavy, dark, like, period. And that has a lot to do with life. And, I mean, we've had a lot of, trauma in our family and all of those kinds of things and we all have that and we all go through the winter season of creativity and it will come back around over and over and what I've tried to to um, show you over the last month is what I do to what to get through that I know it's coming I know it will happen um, and I'm fortunate that it doesn't happen too often, but when it does, it does. And I've tried to give you some inspiration over the last few months to n let you know that what you're going through and what your, you know, the struggle is real and we all go through it. 
And um, not every piece is a masterpiece. Sometimes it's a mess, but that mess is the most beautiful thing ever. So we have, we started with the in-between because that's that place where it's just hard. It's like there's nothing else to say except it's, it's yucky. And um, I hope you can see over the last uh, four weeks or five weeks, I don't even remember. So one, two, three, so four. Um, how you can see the, the feeling, the overall feeling of my pieces changing and the meaning and the, the different things that are happening within it are changing because I am changing. And um, that's what happens within our art as we um, get clearer, get more excited, get more motivation, more inspiration, all of those kinds of things. Um, so we started with the in-between and then we did preparing the soil and, um, and the planting and the emerging. And all of those things, while it's, you know, tied to nature and, you know, planting and all of that, that is so very true for our own selves, our own souls, our own creativity, and how much we have to nurture our creative time, nurture our souls, nurture that gift that I talked about last week that is divine. And it is a divine gift that we have to create. And I don't care if you're an artist, a songwriter, whatever you're bringing to life, whatever it is, um, that's divine. And the world needs that. And so that's what I reminded you of last week. So this week is finding the sunlight. So we've weathered through the winter. And um, while it's still winter outside, it doesn't feel quite so winter here inside. And for that, I am grateful. And as I began to think about the sunlight and, you know, I, I did all of my things that I've kind of shared with you over the last few weeks. You know, I, I journaled. I really thought about, you know, what it is to find the sunlight. And um, I was going through old photos um, and I found footage of sunflowers and pictures of sunflowers. And, and I took those pictures because the sunflowers follow the sun. And so um, I was like, well, that's perfect. And so I thought about, you know, and of course I read the definition of why the sunflowers do the thing that they do. But it was interesting because the young sunflowers will follow the sun back and forth, back and forth. And through the night, they turn back around to face the east and wait for the sun. And the older mature sunflowers don't do that any longer because they know the warmest sun is to the east and they just stay there. And I thought there were so many analogies that I could draw from that. Um, I, yeah, it was really, really exciting to find that and find the, put these two together. And so, um, also while I was searching for my, like, direct meaning, how I convey finding the sunlight and what that feels like, emerging and searching for the sunlight, looking for it. I also thought about how we have to follow it like the sunflowers. We have to follow whatever scrap of sunlight we can find, especially in the drought times of creativity or any, any part of life. We have to follow the sunlight. And I was thinking about what sunlight represents to me. Sunlight is is joy and gratitude and um, for me sunlight means my faith for for the you know sunlight is that that constant thing that will bring me joy and um, I really began to think about that as I you know was putting my ideas together for this piece and I already had a lot of ideas and I didn't have to roam around 
like I had. I knew I was ready. I was excited. And that's become that's that happened because of all of the other things that we've already done. And so joy and gratitude um, are things that are constant in my life that I'm constantly searching for, especially when it's hard. And uh, especially when we're going through hard times in our own lives or in our creativity. Searching for joy and gratitude will change things and can be the light. That, that it, it clears the clouds just a little bit and lightens the soul. So I want to talk about that a little bit more in just a second. But I want to talk about this real quick. So as you can see, every time I create, that dark soil gets less and less. It's still there. It's what's holding my roots. And my roots aren't in yet. Um, it's what hold my roots. And those roots are gold because those are that's my foundation. And when I think about those gold roots... Um, again, I think about faith and joy and gratitude and how those roots allow me to stay stable even in the dark and merge up through that dark ground to search for the sunlight. And um, I was very clear about the papers that I wanted. I was very clear about how I wanted this to feel. And I hope that you can tell as I came in, I knew I was on a mission. I had the idea. I had the inspiration. I wasn't uh, fumbling around to try and figure out what do I do. I already knew. And that has come because I have showed up. Um, I have used all of basically the same things that I have been using over the last few weeks. A lot of my high flows, all of the supplies will be listed on the blog and the link to the blog will be down below in the YouTube description box. I've, I've thrown in a few acrylic gouache. Um, I will be using my gold um, to put in my, my roots. But I also am bringing out some gold. This is um, a gold leaf pen. I have three of them because I know one of them doesn't work. And I want the petals on my flowers because I'm going to have some sunflowers. Um, I want them to be gold because that's part of my roots. That's part of that sunlight. That's part of that divine. Um, I have used matte, matte gel to put my papers down with. Gesso. And I have used some... Ivory Pebeo Matte Pub. You could use um, Titan Buff. I just grabbed for the nearest thing because I was excited and I was ready to go. Um, and I used alcohol to kind of create. That's the that's the one same technique that I have used over and over and over. It represents the ground and the seeds and those white little specks of dirt and things that were in that first video of me searching for ideas and and looking at the roots and um, that has stayed consistent throughout um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I'm going to be using a couple of stencils I'm hoping um, this is the sparkle stencil and this is the Living and Growing stencil. These are six by six. These will be on sale. And all of the papers I had in my stash, but I knew right away what I wanted. This is called Weekly Summary up here. It's an old um, uh, attendance sheet. This is an eye chart. This is, and then this little thing down here says, let's clear the air. <clears throat> I'm becoming clearer and clearer as I create of what I want to create of the ideas that I have, it's all, like the, the clouds are, are um, parting and the sun is coming through. And so all of those papers, all, all of the things that I put in here are part of my story. And then this bit of like little floral things, like vintage wallpapers and things like that, that's my backdrop for my flowers. And um, so everything, all the papers had meaning. Um, and postcards are a message to myself to always look for the light. That I'm finding the light every day. I find the light 
by looking at joy and gratitude and helping and all there's so many ways that we can find light um, this is a 14, 14, 14 by 14 canvas and that is all I know right now <clears throat> I'm gonna put my roots in oh I am going to use my I'm going to use my pan pastels I have them out that was from my playtime last week that I absolutely was like oh where have you been? I have ignored you. Um, and so I'm going to put a coat of gesso over this, clear gesso, so that I have a nice uh, ground for my pan pastels. And I'm going to do some highlighting and different things like that. And then I'm going to put my flowers in, my sun flowers facing the sun. Okay, so that's where I'm at on this piece. But I also want to read to you... Um, this is Brene Brown's uh, book, Atlas of the Heart, and it is, it's like a dictionary of emotions. It's, it's absolutely awesome. But um, she talks about joy and um, she says, I love thinking of joy as the good mood of the soul. Isn't that awesome? The good mood of the soul. There is definitely something soulful about joy. Based on our research, I define joy as an intense feeling of deep spiritual connection, pleasure, and appreciation. Joy. Spiritual connection, pleasure, and appreciation. Those three things, if we think about those in our day today, those things, if we find those things that we can appreciate, that um, we have a spiritual connection to, you know, those kinds of things, those are the joy places. And those are the things to me that bring sunlight into my world. And sometimes when we're going through the, the hard parts, it's so hard to um, see the light, to see the find the sunlight. But we have to look for it. And then she goes on to say, researchers describe the relationship between joy and gratitude, joy and gratitude, as an intriguing upward spiral. Like flowers coming out of the ground. An intriguing upward spiral. Oh my gosh. And I, I need an intriguing upward spiral. Joy and gratitude. They're it's an upward spiral. When you put those two together, you can't not help but feel better. To stand maybe taller, to think better, to see the sunlight, joy and gratitude. Those are the things, even in the hardest of hard times, if we can find one or two things to be joyful and grateful for, it will change us. And over the last four weeks, I have forced myself to get here so often. But in that time, there was joy. There was gratitude. Because once I got here, it was good. It was really good. And I've just tried to share that journey with you because I know so many of your stories and I'm so grateful that you share them and um, that I was in the same place, I am in the same place and I will be in that same place again. It's part of the creative process, it's part of our human experience. And so I want to right now lavish the sunlight because my clouds are shifting and I'm searching, searching for sunlight all the time. And in that process, I have inspiration. And so I hope that encourages you today. I hope this journey has encouraged you today. And as I have inspiration, as I find the light, I get clearer about how I create and what I want to create. And I hope that for you too. All right, my loves, I'm going to finish this piece up. Thank you so very, very much for joining me on this month-long journey 
Um, I hope it was an encouragement to you. I hope your Sunday is restful and peaceful, and I hope that you always, always know that you are loved.